a unique function of linking the assembly with the national assemblies. I'd like to do the following with your support. Number one, I'd like to create more awareness about the East African community. And I'd like to do this by linking proactively with you on this mission. Gloria Biamukama, a lawyer by profession, is being fronted by NRM party and has just served only one term, as well as her challenger Margaret is who are also of NRM. Another Ugandan, Mike Sibalu, was earlier in the race but later dropped out. Honorable Sibalu, uh, we had a series of meetings that were calculated to create a single candidature. To this extent, Honorable Sibalu uh, withdrew his candidature. Honorable Zua and Honorable Dora are the ones now still in the race. However, Uganda received a surprise threat when Burundi also picked nomination forms with intentions to contest for the speakership slot. A legal battle between the two countries ensued for close to three hours until Burundi withdrew its nominations. Uh, this process was established majorly as a tripartite arrangement between the countries Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania since 1993. The objects for which it was, it was written we are to address concerns of integration of three major countries, although under Article 3, a provision for any other country was established. Now, in law, what that one means is that we adopted the, the principle of variable geometry on integration, that those that would find the integrated countries in place would merely join them and will have no locus to change the decisions already taken. So in, in, in this precinct, Burundi was making a mistake by thinking that they can disentangle the rotational basis of speakership under Article 53 of the treaty. The other much anticipated function tomorrow is the swearing in of the elected members from all the member states. 45 indirect elected members and 7 ex-officials will be taking their oath on Tuesday. The ex-officials include the ministers of each partner state responsible for regional cooperation, the secretary general of the East African community, and the council to the community. Among the key roles of IERA include being the legislative arm of the community, debating and approving budget for the community, and also to liaise with the national assemblies of the member states on matters relating to the community. Julius Senkandwa, NTV.